Hello everybody, welcome back to more Inscription Casey's Mod. We are on challenge level 4. So we've got totem battles all the way down and trapper's pelts cost more. Because honestly, I don't really want to buy pelts anyways on average. I feel like I don't usually care. So alas, alas, in we shall go. The outcome of the last fight you'll never know. But uh, let's just say it's still going. My pelts are clean. Okay, uh, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Oh, could we do it? Could we do that? Could we do the ants? <laughs> could we make <laughs> make it happen? Uh, I think Kaku is really good. I think the wolf is an interesting start because it immediately gives us something to merge into a 6-4 if we get the option. I think... Uh, field mice is potentially game breaking on the right card. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get the wolf because it's a nice easy merge. Uh, and then what else? Uh, do we have a mushroom in sight? Not in sight. Uh, we have the campfire up there. Let's go. Let's go merge something. We'll go merge something. Um,. Don't have a lot we can do. Field mice. I don't really want to upgrade anything that we have right now. With that, um, and hey, we kind of want that on something that costs like, like one blood, or something that has infinite life. So I'm kind of leaning towards putting bullfrog upgrade on the stoat, because I don't really want either of them in my deck that long, anyways, and that makes it so I can possibly ditch them a little bit sooner. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep the deck a little bit thinner, a little bit cleaner. But again, we don't, you know, we saw what happens yesterday. We don't want everything to be focused too hard on, um, on one area. What do we, what do we want to do here? I think that, I think that we do, we do put this here. We'll block the one damage, then we'll sack the stoat for, god, the fact that, yeah, it goes underwater is actually a little bad for us here. It's going to turn into a 3-2. So we'll do this. And now if he doesn't spawn anything else, we can just put a squirrel right here and we're fine. No, he didn't do anything else. Alright, we're fine. Because... His water creature is also blocking that path in for himself. So we actually get a nice clean overflow to damage towards maybe buying a pelt. Maybe not. I don't know. I kind of like to avoid <laughs> avoid pelts. But we haven't, um, haven't been seeing any. Poison. Very tempting. We are going for... Uh, mm. Mm. But we need something to use right away. If the adder cost one, I would do it in a heartbeat. It would also be... If the adder cost one, it would also be broken, so... Field mice? I could put the adder's upgrade on the field mice. It's like... It's okay. What are we gonna... Yeah, what are we gonna sacrifice? I, I guess... We're looking for something really... Oh, eh really strong to have that on. That's actually not a, a... Beehive is actually not that bad to have um, mice power on. It's not that bad, actually. It's quasi-infinite. Not It's not infinite or anything, but it's like... It's getting there. Yeah, we want to take this. Well, it's it's not a full. It's not quite the best thing I wanted out of out of this upgrade, but it's a lot of chump blockers. It is a lot of chump blockers. If they have somebody who has one um, one damage like this, it's like really really good. Old beehive. Because we can just... We get hit here. 
We get a B, which we could theoretically use to summon another, uh, <laughs> another beehive. Or we could just use it to summon a wolf right now, which I think is going to be a better call. Okay, that wolf is of no concern to me. not bad we'll, we'll get a, we'll get some decent overflow some decent overflow right there be high for the fun of it just for what for a higher squirrel sacrifice rate at the end of the game i suppose but yeah that's um that's a pretty good chump blocker pretty pretty good guaranteed that you get oh wait golden pelt maybe Golden pelt. We'll take that. All right. I'm happy to get a golden pelt for free. I'm happy about that. Um, let's see here. We've got item. Sure. Could be black coat. That helps us get a turn a squirrel into a wolf, more or less, which is not crazy by any means right now but it's certainly certainly not bad what do you have you have flight guard okay oh boy what are we doing here <laughs> What's the plan? This, these are both wolves. Stoat. We have the stuff. We have the stuff for the stoat. So we sack that for the stoat and slap down a B, I guess, too. Yeah, this is working. This is working pretty well. It's it's very it's slow and steady, to say the least. But it's not bad. Okay. Now we can just wolf wolf the wolf. Wolf to the wolf to the wolf to the wolf. Okay. <laughs> there's some there's some weird stuff going on that I think might be total misplay. Uh one, two, three. All right, I think we want... Okay, he has Flight Guard. Let's use that to our advantage. Somehow. How do we do that? We can't... We can't sacrifice the Beehive for the Bee, so actually, never mind. But we can sacrifice the Beehive for the Beehive, and then place down a Bee? Because we want to, um... Basically, we want to kill or hit with three, and then draw our Wolf... And then summon for extreme overkill. And hell, let's just put down a beehive for the hell of it. And then a beehive for the hell of it. And then a beehive for the hell of it. Imagine if this beehive had one attack. Then we would never be in that situation that we were in against the the, uh, the moon. And, st and still are. All right, I'm, I'm going Gambit style. I'm going Gambit style. I'm going to assume that we're going to get a cool upgrade. Uh, what would we want? God, I guess it's something. Oh, God, whatever it is, I guess we're giving it to the wolf. What would be good on the wolf? What would be good on the wolf? The block one damage would be nice. Bifurcated would be nice. Mantis? Ouch. I don't have anything. Oh. Interesting. Alright, if this gives me a one damage, if this gives me the damage option. Oh, God. It can't get eaten on the first play, can it? Alright. I actually do not want to risk the biscuit here. Because, yeah, that doing one damage 
it, it's an infinite like play, you know? As long as they have one HP or they don't do more than one damage, we can just keep on playing that forever, which is great. I guess it's like, I don't know, it, it, it pays for itself, so we do it. That's just the thing. <laughs> Wait, this is also infinite bones. Wait, we need to get, okay, we need to get for, uh, go for bone cost items. Oh my god, like, vulture now effectively costs nothing. For example, like we don't, obviously, we, I know we don't have it right now, but for example, the vulture effectively costs nothing. All right, let's just, let's just hit this. Give me the bees, boy, and free my soul. All right, uh, boink. Whatever we play is going to get, um, bopped, so... Let's just be a little silly simple with it. See that that's the thing. Now that this has damage, it's um it's a little stupid. Obviously we're ruined by like flying. We're ruined by flying with it, but I'm not too worried. All right, um, do we have another wolf? We do. Okay, uh, okay, I want the cards. The guy in the back should go away. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that a possum. We need something that costs bones that has, like, cockroach. Cockroach, in theory, or just something that costs a lot of bones that has um, the same effect. We literally have an infinite in the making right now. We really do. Kill it! Yeah. We got our wolf. Oh, we don't have our wolf. Guess we do it like bap bap. Drop down the wolf. And then we do a little bit of bap. And then we do a little bit of well, that's actually not maybe perfect. Well, no, it's actually no, I do like that is perfect. Wait a minute. Oh, that's actually even better than what I was planning. Ooh, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, we're good. We want to play something with flying, I guess. Raven. Can we play the... We can play the raven for two damage, but then we sacrifice the wolf. We don't have any... We, I don't want to play my black goat just to get a little bit of extra money. Uh, I guess we do the flying ant. Or the bee. For one extra tooth. Not too shabby. Gek. What do we do with Gek? Also, Child 13. Wait, Child 13. Wait, Child 13 with... The, oh my god. If we get the beehive in Child 13 on turn one, that's so silly. All right, we have a golden pelt. Let's go... I mean, what? I don't want to combine Child 13, though. Like, what are we getting? What are we want? Uroboros? Uroboros? 
This is um, our. This is actually the copy card. I don't know if I want that right now, though. It's good, but I don't know if I want it. Uh, trifurcated on wolf is nice. Unkillable on child 13 is super strong. In addition to just, you know what, Uroboros, no, Uroboros is the way to go. You, no matter what, right now, Uroboros is the way to go for this run at the moment. Either we are, we have the potential to make him infinite, infinitely strong. Ah, I didn't want to pack red. I really need to use my items. You dirty game. You dirty game. Pack red's not bad. I just don't want him. I would consider him a detriment to my deck at this point. Yeah, see. Yep, see. Move to the right. Okay, so theoretically you can't do nothing. I don't okay, this is kinda dumb. This is more than kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Son of a gun doesn't attack. Like, it's more than kind of dumb. Okay. S screw it. We'll, we'll, screw it, we'll do it. Wait, what? Wait! It says move to the right. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. That is not moving to the right, I'll have you know. Well, we lose now. It's okay. We have an extra we have an extra go, but like that's super annoying. Okay, um, a kill here means one, two, three less damage, but I can't, ah, oh god, I don't have a squirrel, I should have drawn a squirrel. If I, w if I would have drawn a squirrel, I think I could have, maybe could have dug this out of the gutter, but, uh, Loose Tail really pooped this. So we go up two, and then we, we we do two, and then we take one, two, three, four, five, as it currently stands. So we obviously die. <laughs> like, we die. Uh, I just, there's no way to do this, is there? If we, if we went up three, one, two, three... Five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five damage. We need to go up to. So we could kill Ouroboros and place him again with the black goat. We can make that happen. We should put him up to three damage. One, two, three. Yank out our tooth. That's four damage. Uh, yeah, we just don't have it. We don't have it. I think we. Um, I think we just. Put our head between our knees, kiss our butt goodbye. That, I just, um, you know, I thought when it said that it moves to the right, that it would only move to the, you know, like the right, but, you know, that's okay. I get it. It's good to know for the future. It makes it better uh, for when it's my turn to use it. Um, Pack Rat or a Burros? Ain't the worst. Uh, combining the Wolves ain't the worst. Let's go with this, because we, we might get something even cooler. Ah, well, there's the turkey vulture. We have to, we have to do it.
Okay, um, infinite life turkey vulture plus the beehives is an infinite. Kind of, sort of, yeah. It's like nine damage. We can make a turkey vault. If we basically, if we spawn, if we can spawn the beehive on the board, and we have three empty spaces, getting the beehive and the vulture in this in in our hand means we have a beehive and three vultures. That's what that means. Like, that's nine damage. So, those two cards drawn together, and we can just keep on doing that forever, as long as we have this. Wait, no, 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 no. No, no. We not unkillable. We need the other one. So I don't want to. I don't want to waste that yet. I'm leaning towards putting trinket bear or infinite sacrifice. I'm trying to think. Why? Why would I? No, I want to try and get the duplicate for that, so we can make a fleet. Uh, let's let's pack out the Uroboros for infinite items. It also gets the pack rod out of my deck because I think he's bad right now. I think he's actively harming us. Uh, the way he... Oh. I hate this one. Kaku. Do we want to brush? We could do it with the black goat. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We have flight block, so let's um, block the cuckoo and then kill it next turn. This is just the way to go. All right, this this is the this is the question. Ah, uh, we can do the gambit. Not good. But is it bad enough to change? Kill the raven egg with the wolf. Let's do it. We don't need to be so stingy with our items here. Because um, we can generate so many of them. I probably should have just done Uroboros. I should have just done Uroboros. It's one less damage. That might actually make the difference, though. We need to be a little stingy. Okay, beehive, we can have... We can get turkey vulture out now if we want. It does not have flight block. Kaku's going to move over here. We can kill a thing and whatever's behind it with the wolf right now. Well, I bet they... I mean... Ay, ay, ay. This is goofy. This is goofy. It's going to scoot over. We're just going to move down. Uh, we're going to kill that. It's going to kill that. This is going to come down. It's going to do two damage. It's going to do damage. That's going to do one extra damage. We're going to take t We're going to take the two. I think I want to just let this go through because that's too important to me. All right. Um, Boulder. Ah, beans. I thought that you were just going to let it be easy for me here. All right, well. I don't know. Do we have enough bones now? Sure. Uh, do we want the? I think it's actually it might be a problem for the one damage to come through. Maybe no, no it won't. It's fine. All right. Absolute worst idea. Why would I draw that? <laughs> uh, beehive will kill this. That's ideal. That kills. That kills that. That's. I mean, I guess that's ideal. 
I think we want to get the Uroboros dead, though. So we'll do a little bit of this. We still have a B. That's another Uroboros. Uh, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Ah! All right, good deal. All right, we got a little bit of items back, too. Merge? Okay, random card merge. What would we... Low-key want to burn Mr. Ant. How important is the wolf combine? I, I Here's the thing. I don't want to go for this because you don't really get that much control over the card. This you really do. Like, there we go. Second turkey vulture is is great. Obviously, like it's good for a combine later. Power up. Infinite beehive. Spread the love though. Yeah, I don't remember to spread the love. We could um, double upgrade our stoat so it's a 3-2, and the worst case, it dies, and then we don't have to deal with it anymore, and we're more likely to... And we're more likely to get our good stuff. It's either this becomes a good card, or we're more likely to get our, our easy win. All right, I'm fine with that. I almost would prefer it's not in the deck, but I think that a 3-2 for one cost is hard to be mad at. Very hard to be mad at. God, I just... Not that one, man. What the heck? Take the three damage, I guess, and send it. Yeah. Quasi ideal? Not really, actually. I think we want to overflow kill Uroboros. Uh, which means. I guess we didn't have to play it. Okay. It's better. We can cut up a card. Killing Ouroboros is fine. Like, gets him another uh, another itty bitty kill. We could summon an Ouroboros again because this is a perfect lethal. Eh, we don't get that much more. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. I don't know if we're even gonna make it through a dang trap, or I haven't seen one. Ooh. Okay, so we have Wolf combined, Turkey Vulture combined. Do we want a Turkey Vulture combined? I think we do because we want to try and get another Field Mice. Like, I'm of the mind that we should be, like, forcing trying to find field mice right now. Pronghorn could work for somebody, I guess. Not great. Not not the best. Not the best. Not the best. Not the best. I mean, we're combining everything, right? I think we have to. But I think I'd want to anyways. Thinner deck with more hits, basically. We're more likely to draw it. I am a little bummed to not have two turkey vultures. Because there's no guarantee we're going to get the field mice upgrade on them. Um, I don't know. This is a little weird. The trapper's going to be a little weird. We, we, we want to turn one kill. We have the card clipper... Which I think will actually be quite nice. Is it 
fine if Child 13 dies. Yeah. It is. This is all fine. We're looking for um, one thing and it's disgusting and it's our beehive. <laughs> That's kind of nice, but uh, you have our turkey vulture. We have their beehive. We could have got the turkey vulture out that turn too. Could have, could have won, but actually, it doesn't really matter. Kind of want another pelt. Nah, I don't want to wait around for it. I don't want to wait around for it. Uh. We don't have any other use for bones in our entire deck except for these Mr. Turkey Vulture. Alright. Get him, champ. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. What do you get? What do you get? It, the help, it helps it's flying, too. Yeah, you lose. <laughs> you lose, dingus. Guess what do I... I have two choices, I guess. I don't think... I, I, I think I just win, but, like, I'm kind of scared by those, I suppose. Those concern me a wee bit. Mr. Wolf. Okay. Take that. Freebie. Should have drawn, I guess, a squirrel for extra damage, I guess. Doesn't really matter, though. I am not too concerned. <laughs> I'm not too concerned. Trapper is either the easiest thing in the world. Trapper Merchant is either the easiest thing in the world or... Very annoying. There's no in between. This is the uh, pasta. Wish I could use look at my cards right now. Impasta. Impasta means you can't lose to the moon. It also means you might not play the card you think you're going to play. It's a good card that sometimes messes you up. But it's a really good card, but sometimes it it could lose you the like it could lose you the game. Uh Long Elk is goofy and costs bones. Yeah, let's just get more things that cost bones. It's a good card. It's a good card. It's nice. I just think he's neat. Okay, so we could do some merging. Ooh, wait. Uh, Bifurcated Long Elk actually is really nice. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Even though we're adding a card to our deck here. I no no uh, no Brianer. It's a no Brianer. Easy peasy. And then yeah, we'll go for the split on Obviously like Turkey Vulture cool. We could do that. Yeah. Um I don't we have a lot of things that don't I don't know. I guess I could put it on like the wolf or something. The 
wolf is already a turn one lethal. This turkey vulture is not a turn one lethal. This one is. If I put this buff on it, it becomes a turn one lethal. Sure, fine. Okay, yeah. All right, all right, all right. I've talked myself into it. That is a that is a potential turn one lethal with squirrel into beehive into vulture. We have multiple one turn kills now. Flying ant. Hey, it's the mud turtle. If you've been wondering what I've been setting up, like, and if you've been confused by my deck construction, I hope it makes more sense now. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you, I hope you piece together what my, my grand scheme has been after watching that trash that just happened to them. I would love for the worker ant to get munched. These are basically the same thing, but it's fire versus shrine. I don't know what I would... What would I sacrifice? I would sacrifice... I'd have to sacrifice long elk, and what I, what would I put it on? I would put... I would have to put it on, like, worker ant. That'd be... <sighs> nah. <laughs> nah. Okay, so this reflects... So the damage of whatever's across from it. I don't need another worker ant. Even if I merge them, it's still not good. <laughs> if you mer okay, question. If you merged worker ant, would it get ant? Would it be ant plus one damage, or would it be ant times two damage? Maybe. If it's ant times two damage, that's actually maybe kind of borken. There's, there's a possibility that there is a broken ant build out there that just requires a little bit more considerable uh, high rolling. That has some <laughs> colossal potential. Yeah, I don't know. I don't just like I don't know what happens with the ant plus this. All right. Um. You can't upgrade the ant here. That's why I haven't done it. I'm tempted to... What would I put the buff on? I, I'd probably put it on the wolf. So let's not do that. Not yet. I could get the child. I could buff, buff Mr. Child. I could buff the beehive once. Let's just buff the beehive once. Because a two damage beehive is even better. A full board of two damage beehives is very easy to get. Hello, Long Elk. Uh. I think that's just a win, right? I think that's just a... I think that's just a goofy little win. It's just a silly little win. Uh, eh. I've just... I haven't really been in a good spot to, to beef up Mr. Uriburos. Mr. Uriburos. Do we want this? Honestly, I don't know if we'll get it. We really don't. We don't have like good chances. At, well, we have a pretty good chance at that. And actually, at this point, we have a really good chance at bones too. Fine, make my day. <laughs> wow, 
wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, to be fair, it's probably like a 40, like 30, 40% chance of bone. Eh. Okay, we can probably, okay. This is my chance. Eat him, eat him, eat him. Thank you. Beehive? Beehive probably would have been better, though. But... No, 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 no. We need our deck to be consistent. That's the problem. That is the thing. We need our deck to be consistent. That is the entire thing. All right. Oops. That was wrong. I think it doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Lol? <laughs> oh, you, uh... You cannot be too happy, can you? Oof. Um, I don't think... We... I just realized we've not gotten a single piece of the wood carving. Neither. Uh, I'm not too pleased with anything here. Like, as far as a build goes, I think... I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I, I was literally going to say. Maybe we can get Cockroach. Let's, um... Let's play this... A little safe. This place is a little bit safe. Health. Alright, beehive once. Okay. Because when it gets hit, it, gets, it still gives us bees. We're kind of just using it like an infinite value generator. But yeah, whenever it gets hit, it does give bees too. That's just... Fights usually just aren't going... Usually just aren't going that long. Uh, okay, we have it. Take my beehive, eh? Uh, what if you instead help the guy out and scooter that up with a squirrel? This great white is a problem. This is actually, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, thank you. Okay, um,. This is awkward, though. This is very awkward. Okay, Turkey Vulture, this is no longer... <laughs> this is no longer awkward. We have... We now just win. Okay. Do we have eight? I think so. So we want this to be on the left side because we want no funny business. Hey! Good deal! Go fish. What are you gonna put it in front of? Everything. I forget. Yeah, you, you really... You, you really, uh... Do it, mister. Alright. Good deal. We'll take the dub. Now we just need to make sure we don't get gold miner meme blasted. And then we're fine. That's literally the only thing that messed us up yesterday. We got gold miner meme blasted. Do everything we can to get... Oh, God. Getting one of these unupgraded this late. Is this... Why is this... 
Uh, is it because he doesn't have any? He doesn't have any eyes. This is this is uh, a gotcha. I gotcha. It's um that man. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we're we're moving into the last fight. I feel like it makes sense to have that man. Yeah, this is the perfect time to add him to the deck. Well, <laughs> well, the moon fight is the perfect time to have. But do we really need help on the moon fight? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have beefed it a little bit here. Uh, so we have two corpse mag. I guess we don't actually. I'm trying to think. What do we want to be auto played from our hand? What would we want to be auto played from our hand? The wolf, I guess. Is pretty decent. Kind of expensive. Uh, Herberos. Herberos. Can't I can't do that? He's already upgraded. Wolf, uh, wolf. I guess I think it's the wolf. I think that's the play. Nothing else makes sense other than the merge, unless we literally wanted, unless we actively just didn't want to merge. Like that was the whole thing. Is just we didn't want to merge. Okay. Otherwise, infinite life on something. Actually, infinite life on something that is actively valuable might be the way to go. Infinite life. Like, Corpse Magus is still decent as its own thing, as, like, a uh, an answer to our things turning into gold. Cockroach is fine as is, because it costs bones, which is kind of nice. We can u we can u abuse the, uh, the Cockroach as is. Long Elk, I swear, I've not played yet. Um, okay, so what do we want played from our hand? Honestly, the most difficult card to play here is the wolf. So I'm going to go based off of how difficult the card is to play. Even though I know, like, the infinite death, like, with the cockroach, that could be kind of... That could be kind of goofy and nutty, but this is this is consistent. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... I'm just looking for consistent. That's it. Because we have an OP deck. We just need it to be uh, poisoned. That might be bad, but it might be fine. We will see. Depends what we draw in our first hand. Whether or not we just get an easy win. Turkey Vulture. Ouroboros. Long Elk. The Smoke. Once we got five bones. Okay. Um, okay. We win. Okay, we, we win on this turn. Okay, we do, we do, we do. I'm just making, I'm just really trying to make sure. We got it. We had to do it in a very specific way. But there we go. We killed him before he uh, did his minor move. Oh, wow. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. He didn't want to talk to me. Okay, it's got flight block, yada yada. Uh, what is this ice cube? What? What comes out? Okay, that, that's kind of an annoying thing there. So let's just, like, win instead, I guess. <laughs> I 
I don't know if passing, making passes next turn there means anything, but like, yeah, I was gonna say it's just gonna become less useful as time moves on here. Uh, we we very 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 easily definitely just obviously won, you know, like that's just it. Um, I want the stoat out so it dies with some of the wolf for the kicks and wiggles of it. Poison, I can't kill it anymore via that. Okay, well, one of these is not actually this. Let's see which one is it. Nope, that's the real one. I mean, we, we, we've got it like 12 ways from Sunday here. Okay, just because I want to. Hey, literally cannot lose now. This card is the new, like, it's the new way that you can beat the, beat this boss without having a chance of losing. If this is on the field during the moon phase, it's the new stinky, it's the new, um, poison. Boop. <laughs> Hold off, wait, now I have something to cut. I'm cutting you, dude. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This place nice. Sounds about right. Um, okay. Boss defeated four, 175, 12, 32. Cool. Sacrifice made 109. Is that it? <laughs> I scoured the disc last night looking for some kind of explanation. I found some wild, really wild stuff. It made me think, what is the old data and why does it why does Leshy only talk about it when he's wearing the woodcarver's mask? Oh, interesting. I found some log from Mr. Kaminsky. It was pretty clear when I met him that the guy had issues, but he seemed to be saying in this log that the entire development of inscription was a cover. For what? How infuriating if true. Time to start another run, I guess. Ooh, Dire Wolf. What is this? <gasps> That's incredible. Dire Wolf will strike the opposing space an extra time when attacking. Ooh. It's like bifurcated, but not, though. It's better. Well, it's both better and worse. It's effectively double the attack on this card, is, is a way to probably put it. But it does make it very bad against, like, Spiky. Um, and it doesn't make it as good for overflow killing. So it's not quite as good as just a straight double damage upgrade. But hey, Dire Wolf Pup. Oh, okay. At the end of the owner turn, he will generate a bone. Also, Dire Wolf Pup will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. So he's just a two cost that eventually turns into Dire Wolf. It's a three, it's a three blood cost. It's no joke. But this is a prime, prime card pickup for uh picking it up and then like, you know, selling it. Bosses award regular cards instead of rares. Truthfully? Truthfully? That's probably fine. I I will almost certainly put that one on <laughs> just to try that out. We need 50 points now. What does it take? What do we get to if we do this? 50. Hey, that's probably what we'll do then tomorrow. That's a preview. But yeah, again, it goes up to challenge level 12. We're already at challenge level 5. Doing pretty decent here. We're not really losing that many times unless... Uh, some garbage happens, but hey, that is that, and that is going to do it for today. This has been Inscription, Casey's Mod. I am loving this series. You guys seem to be loving it as well. So if you want to see it here for a while, if you'd be sad to see it go, you gotta let me know. Comment down below. While you're down there, make sure to hit the like button when YouTube removed the dislike buttons. Everybody just kind of forgot to keep on liking videos because, you know, it was just another bad byproduct of that change just a, 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 to a long list of many stupid uh, unfortunate byproducts of removing the visible dislikes people forgot to keep liking videos that they enjoy on this website so remember to that it is still important and if you like this series remember to still do uh, go down and like the video it matters a lot and people are doing it less because of the dumb change so 
Keep it in mind. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. Videos every single day. Continuing Inscription Casey's Mod as long as you guys continue to support it via likes and comments. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel for Rolex more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!